Last week, I changed my password at all of my bank sites, and this week I logged back into all of my bank sites without knowing what the password was. And I'm just going to demonstrate how to use KeePass uh, XC with the PortableApps.com platform. Uh, I was Bing searching uh, password managers as I've just decided I want to have a more secure password uh, system for all of my online activities and came up with portableapps.com. It lets you install a uh, application management system on a USB drive. Uh, the password manager isn't the only thing you can put on there. You could have your browser with all of your favorites, etc. I'm not really uh, going to take it beyond that, but I wanted a USB stick with my password manager on it, with my password database on it, so I could uh, put it away in the safe or take it from my home desk to my work desk etc and we're gonna go ahead and set up portable apps now okay portable apps is installed it's gonna run now and it's going to update its list of applications There we have it. Let's see. We'll just scroll through here. Yeah, you can load games. So you can put solitaire on your USB sticks. Your boss won't bother you about uh, having solitaire on your computer or whatever. I'm just kidding. Okay, security. Here we come. And I'm going to load KeyPass XC. I'm just going to download it, install it on my USB stick. Now it's installing it. Okay, so KeyPass is installed at this point, and we're going to go back to Portable Apps. Okay, there you go. If you refresh the app icons, now we can see KeyPass is installed within the Portable Apps uh, Application Manager. I'm going to go ahead and thin out some of what we have on the screen here. So we can look at the contents of the directory and we see there's a start that runs the uh, Portable Apps. And then within that is the install location for KeyPass. So let's run KeyPass and just run through some of the quick basics on this. Okay, well, we're going to create a new database. And we have to put it somewhere. I'm going to put it on my USB drive in the KeyPass data folder. Now you can use a key file, a challenge response, or a password to secure your password database. Obviously, you're going to want a very strong password if you decide to use password. So that's uh, I'm going to use a password just for this demonstration. Okay. Yeah, there's our root. We can add folders, so I'm going to say home. Go back to root, and I'm going to add a new group work. Now for home, you might want to break it out into 
banking. Let's say, how about social media? And let's say, I'll just, I'm just going to say email. Who doesn't have more than one email account? Work, I'd have multiple uh, domains, uh, multiple applications, multiple things that I have to sign in. So that would be really uh, complex to set that up right now. But let's just, uh, so we're going to add a new entry. Obviously, I would already have to know uh, the password. <laughs> The password for my uh, bank account at this point but we're gonna say say we know what it is already and we're just gonna type it in here you can see it corrects It knows when you've mistyped. And it's got the little peeker tool here. So, yeah, so currently my bank account one, my username is Chatelku Tech, and there's my password. And obviously that's an evil password, but I'm just going to pop that in there. And let's just say we want to log into our bank. I'm going to pretend this is my bank website, and I can copy the username and paste it. And then I can copy the password in and paste it. And now I'm signed into my bank account. Now once we're in, we're going to go through and we're going to change our password. So I'm just going to double click on this. And you see this uh, dice icon here lets you uh, choose a new password. You can use a passphrase and it will say, yeah, word count seven. So it's going to make, let's take a peek here. Probably like a poet. Shark, curled, treble, commerce, purposely, gloomily rendering. Don't know if I'm going to remember that. Don't know if it matters, but I'm going to go with password. Uh, 16 characters is probably pretty good. I think most places will accept that. Uh, what I'm going to do is toss something in like this. Yeah, we're going to get some really ugly passwords. And so what I'm going to do is I can copy that password and I'm going to paste that. I'm going to change my password. I'm going to paste that back in. One of the cool features is that paste, there's a timeout on the paste where it will no longer be in the paste uh, queue after a certain period of time so that somebody couldn't come to your computer after you left. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply that because I've changed my password at the bank. And so I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the account. And yeah, and I see, there we go. We have to apply it. So now, again, we can see we know the username and we've got a new password there and it's saved away. So I'm hitting save the database. I'm going to go ahead and close the database. I'm going to close key pass. Uh, the cool thing about portable apps, yeah, you might be used to like ejecting hardware using this uh, open uh, the devices ejector on the taskbar there. It does it by itself when you uh, click that eject button you'll see the uh, portable apps icon will go away there we go okay would you like to automatically close okay so it had a question it wanted to ask me about that first so there we go and we see it went away and we'll see it drop off oh it's out of the hardware too so everything we did uh, worked out well we don't need to remember our passwords now. We can just copy them and paste them. And we'll actually never even see them because they'll just be behind the little asterisks when we paste them. The only password we have to remember is the one that opens up uh, KeyPassXC database so that we can copy and paste our usernames and passwords out of that. All right. Thank you very much.